Boah, hab ich jetzt scheiße. Ja, gut, wie ich schon. Kim, 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 Kim. Oh, fuck. I don't understand this bother, to be honest. So let me just explain to you guys what's going on. Yesterday, we filmed the first ascent of the Red Bull Dual Ascent, and Jakob and Nika Potapova were on the giant dam. It's the day after, it's pouring with rain, and we've come to Kironico to try Alfane, which is a 9A boulder, and it's rainy, it's damp, it's a bit miserable, but Jakob is sort of working the move. So today, I thought I'd just show you the route, show you Jakob's working process, and you guys can hopefully get like an in-depth look at some of the holds and moves on a 9A boulder. There's so much rain today, so much fog, so we're already expecting uh, the worst, but we know that Alfane is uh, one of the, maybe the only boulder that can stay dry, so we were still a little hopeful and yeah. Now I'm Misha, people call me Misha, I'm, uh, my name is Michael Pikelwatz, and I'm here with my good friend Jakob, trying uh, Alfane, <laughs> the infamous 9A boulder, and yeah, we're just gonna play around a bit and full support. Jakob, but I will have a lot of fun on the boulder as well, I hope. This hole, the key hole for me. I hate it. Can't really fit my fingers in. I don't know, it's not like I've tried a lot of 9A boulders and 18 plus boulders. It's just, uh, this boulder I know it's really hard. It's also special in that term that it's a very long boulder. And I think why it's so fun to try is because it's not only about one move, but uh, like every single move is really hard on it. I think fourth session, I was able to do the whole boulder from the third move in. So there I was like, ah, okay, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do it fast and then from that day on, I feel like I've only gotten worse and then tried to switch beta again. I would always come here for two days and again not be here for like a month and it felt like it was a bad strategy. For me it has been a lot about finding the right beta for the middle part and there is like um, I think yeah two different betas or three different betas how it's already been climbed but already like three or four different betas that people are, are trying. Oh, it's even worse because I kind of don't want to fall on this path. <laughs> There's this obvious foil that looks really good, but it's so slippery. And once you do the move to the crack, like there's different betas, but usually you come into this intermediate here. And getting to this intermediate has always felt kind of hard for me. And maybe today it's <laughs> even harder because my shoe is always wet. Ah. Uh -uh. These two holds, but especially the crack I've mentioned before, it's like really, there's so many different options how to hold the hold. I'm trying to figure out how I get it that way and like just, yeah, trying to feel how I actually want it in my hand. That's the OG beta. That's the shoulder beta. <laughs> that looked pretty smooth though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, like um, some tries, all the betas feel smooth, so yeah. Mm -hmm. 
like my very first try with the other beta today felt amazing and I was like oh, okay yeah I'm sad again <laughs> and then you try it again and it feels bad and I don't know <laughs> it's tricky what's it like working a problem with Yakov? I mean most of the time it's super fun sometimes it's a bit uh, I wouldn't say not frustrating but uh, you know he sometimes does the border quite quickly and then I'm left there trying by myself and uh, <laughs> because he's so strong but uh, no, no, in general it's always super good fun. We, we help each other out. Um, I hope also sometimes I can help him. Um, I'm kind of known as the beta master. It's good for Jakob also I think to have somebody who is you know not as strong because sometimes he's because he is so strong he can do the moves quickly but maybe it's not always the easiest way so I have to try different ways maybe and I find out, find out something easier so he profits from it too. So just to give you a sit rep on what's going on, uh, the weather is not ideal. Just mist keeps rolling through the valley. And although it's not wet, it's, it's definitely damp and a little bit miserable, but the guys are still working the boulder. And it's, for me, it's always fun to go and watch a session like this because you realize that it doesn't really matter the level of the climber, the conversations and, and the chat about moves and tactics and all that just stay the same. So it's always a privilege to watch and just sort of fly on the wall and get to see what the best in the world are doing. It's, it's soggy, but fun. Yeah. This is uh, the nastier part and also kind of technical with the body position, but I've, I've been able to do it quite well. Actually. But yeah, got to learn it again. So at the end of the day? Yeah, I think so. I still don't have that much experience in working boulders, but uh, Alfein is definitely giving me a lot of troubles. It's been a weird process of like getting much worse, being able to do a move, but then all of a sudden not being able to do it just as well on the next try, which I'm kind of not used to. Like usually once I figure something out, it, it clicks, um, but somehow not really on this boulder. So yeah, it could still take a while, but um, I'm psyched and uh, you also have to take the, the small successes um, seriously. Like today, I, I'm, I think after not being here for a while, I'm pretty happy. I did basically all, all the moves I could try uh, again and um, figured out the middle part quite well again. And uh, yeah, hopefully I, I make more progress.